Hey guys, welcome back. We're this is Class with Troy, and we're going to be doing the coloring the Incredible story, True Story Part Two. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded it. like within like two weeks. I was busy with school and all that. And sorry about the last video. I had cut off because it's a, it's only a certain amount of storage I can. It's only a certain amount of time I can record. So I did. So I finished coloring. Uh, damn, what's his name? I finished coloring. Um, Thomas's uh, suit like two days ago, and we're gonna be working on him. I'm not sure what his name is, but I'll look it up later. So I'm just using marker seventy four for the like the like the darkest parts on his collar. Then we're gonna use you know, just gotta make sure I put it in the right space. Then we're gonna come in with markers number sixty three. Put color that in. I check my color blending sheet real fast. My color code real quick. Make sure I'm using the right colors. So I'm on Christmas break, which I'm really excited about. Just glad to be out of school till till January third. Yeah, so we're gonna use the black right here. I'm going to use a marker that's number 67. Color that part in. Then we're going to use marker number 63. And then use marker 67. And make sure and to blend it. Now we're going to use the marker number eleven to fill in to fill the finish color in his glove. All right, now I get now I got to get out all my different color grays. I'm gonna leave the black one now just in case I need it for later. Alright, so we're gonna be using CG3. Is this CG3? Yeah. Here we're gonna color it gonna color in this part of the sleeve first. Christmas is only four days away. That's amazing. So excited. Trying to save all my money so I can get some coping markers. That's gonna be that's gonna take me forever. Alright, so I'm just done using marker CG3. Then we're gonna use marker CG1 for the light for the lighter parts of the of his suit. Gotta make sure it blends well. So 
So I just found out like a few weeks ago that they have skin tone markers for these type of markers I'm using right now. So I'm going so to try to order these if I can uh, color in the, the other people's faces. Because I really want some type of skin tone markers. Alright, now we're going to go back to use marker number 63, like a bright blue. We're going to color in his, his leg right here. Then we're going to use our black marker. Make a little, little, little line right here. What does Marcus CG now look like? Yeah. So I'm about to use Marker CG8 for this part of their legs right here. Yeah, I thought for this special, I'm not redrawing it. Uh, people, many people kept telling me not to draw this anymore, and I agree with them. It's, it takes, it's going to take forever to finish this. So I'm going to use marker number 67 for this part right here. Then we're going to use marker CG5 for this, for this dark, to make this part of the seed darker. A lot of people said they like this drawing. Made me happy. You know, good artist right here. Put a little bit of jazz music on in the background. I like jazz music. Nice work. Nice and calm. Alright, so I'm gonna use marker. Where's it at? Where's it at? CG2. Right here. Right here. <sighs> I'm going back to Barker CG five if I can find it. Oh here we go, right here. Make a little line right here. All right, then we're gonna go back to Marcus CG two to fit us covering his pants. His pants lay right here. Please ignore the background. That's my sister yelling on the phone. Alright, so you just got finished coloring his pants late. Now we got now we move on to the next one. Please ignore that. Please, please, please ignore that. I was just turn up the music a little bit. 
Alright, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to use marker CD5 for this part right here. And CG2 for this part, for the lighter part right here. Man, this is going to take me a while. Damn. I right, then going back to marker. Then want to use marker CG3 right here. Color in the darker parts right here. Then we're gonna use marker CG3. No, I'm a, I'm a CG2. Let make sure it blends well right here. Okay, um, so let's see what else we're going to do. Um, this part right here. I kind of messed up right here. But it's all, it's okay. Sometimes when you're an artist, it really doesn't, it really don't turn out the way you want it. But it still looks nice when, you, when it's done. Alright, so we're going to be using markers. Uh, CG5 again. <laughs> We're gonna be we're gonna use it right here. Now we're gonna use marker CGA right here. Marker 63. I just love art, man. Art is life. Living that art life. Ooh, all right. Now we're going to go on to this part right here, to the other man's suit. CG5 right here. So we finishing. So we just got finished coloring his leg. And I'm gonna use marker. Sixty five. They cut on the key they cut on this part of the keyboard. Damn, yeah, messed up right here, but it's all good. it's all good. Oh uh let's see. Since there's lighter on this part, we're gonna use marker this the marker sixty one a little light. Yeah, this could be marker 61 right here. Use a marker number 61 right here. Then we're going to use a marker number 65 for this part of the control panel right here.
Yeah, it looks it looks super weird. Like his his arm like his arms that big, that huge. Alright, so for right here we're gonna go back to use it and we're gonna put these two blue markers away and use markers. Um CG.05 I'm not really sure what type of marker this is And then we're going to finish coloring this part of the sleeve Alright, so I finished coloring this part of the sleeve now. If it needs to be a little bit more detail, need to be added. Alright, so I'm gonna use marker CG3 right here, real fast. Real quick. So I gotta test out the browns real fast, real quick. This is 21 right here. This video will probably be 21 minutes long. I don't edit my videos because I don't have a, uh, a laptop. Well, I kind of do, but it's not that type of laptop, so you know. It is what it is. So I'm going to use a marker. 91 to 21 for this, for this part of the hand right here. But I gotta add use marker CG8. There's a little like gray part right here. Gonna use marker number 91 first. Okay, so oh, here go a lead pencil. Let me just uh, re re. Uh, let me just. I got. Uh, damn, so hard for me to talk. Ah, uh, ah, uh, God. Uh. Re darken these lines. That's what I was trying to say the first time. on the keyboard or the control panel. All right, time to move on and use marker number 30, 33. 
free actually. And make the buttons. And then we're going to use marker number 65. Just fill in the keyboard, the control panel. Alright guys, that's in that concludes part two, even though I barely did anything, only like this part, but it's all good. Alright, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time with part three next Tuesday, which is December 26th, the day after Christmas. See you later. Thanks for watching.